Amy Roback and TJ Holmes, former hosts of the ABC Morning Show, found solace in unexpected places after being ousted in January due to cheating rumors. Their respective ex-spouses, Andrew Hsu and Marilee Fiebig, have reportedly found comfort in each other's company, marking their connection amid the aftermath of the scandal. Andrew Hsu, Robaka's ex-husband, made his first public appearance following reports of his romantic involvement with TJ Holmes' ex-wife, Marilee Fiebig. The two found common ground in the shared experience of their former partner's affair, leading to a connection that blossomed after Roback and Holmes were let go from their ABC morning show in January. The former Good Morning America hosts were removed from their positions after making headlines in November 2022 for their affair, which occurred while they were still married to their respective partners. Reports indicate that Roback and Holmes' ex-spouses forged a bond over the shared pain and the traumatic experience of being cheated on. People magazine spotted Andrew Hsu, 56, donned in a navy blue jacket, black pants, and a backpack while running errands in downtown Manhattan. This public appearance came after the news of his romantic involvement with Marilee Fiebig, providing a glimpse into their evolving relationship. The scandalous affair between Roback, 50, and Holmes, 46, led to their removal from the ABC Morning Show. Despite the controversy, the duo launched their podcast, Amy and TJ Podcast, on iHeartRadio. In the podcast, they clarified that they were both, in the middle of divorces, when the news of their relationship broke. Holmes addressed the misconceptions surrounding their affair, emphasizing that they were not being outed as adulterers but rather as individuals already navigating divorce proceedings. He explained, to be clear, we were outed as being in a relationship, but everyone else thought we were being outed as adulterers, being outed as cheating on our spouses. And it wasn't the case because the odd thing is, the day those pictures were taken and the day that article was released, we both at that point were in divorce proceedings.